So today we are going to take a look at The Fabric of Civilization by Virginia Postrel. I like this author a lot, and um, I think this is the only book I've pre-ordered since I have become an adult. Um, so it's a general kind of history over book uh, history overview book on the topic of fabric and textiles, which um, have a, in our modern times, the we have incredible accessibility to fabric. And so perhaps we underestimate their, its historical importance for us. Uh, she opens the book uh, talking about the Stone Age, how um, an important component of the stone implements was thread that uh, tied the implements to uh, the handles. So, like, uh, if you have an, but those none of those survived the um, the time. So you have these really old tools, and you just have the stone heads of the tools, and you don't have it, the thread left over, except in a couple cases. And then uh, towards the end, she ends the book talking about um, the future of textiles and how there are companies working on introducing like electronics into fabric itself where like the fabric can tell your heart rate monitor it and upload it to some sort of device and um, it can be charged like by sitting down on a charging type chair uh, crazy uh, type of stuff very interesting um, I like her style of writing quite a bit uh, this topic fabric and textiles isn't really in my wheelhouse but I enjoyed reading um, the book um, some interesting tidbits for example uh, illustrating the importance of textiles and fabric uh, in our history are uh, so uh, Louis Pasteur um, was important uh, important figure for uh, uh, research in terms of infectious disease um, I believe pasteurization is named after him uh, and his research wasn't the consequence of trying to improve human life, but it was the commercial part uh, that was a result of uh, trying to uh, combat infectious disease for um, silkworms and uh, to try and be more profitable with the silkworms because the silkworms are all getting infected with disease and they were dying. And so uh, he figured out, like, oh, if you wash your hands a bunch, that, like, helps a lot for dealing with the silkworms or stopping the spread and like it was the dead ones that were spreading disease it was a specific disease that uh infects the silkworm but they're not contagious until they're dead something like that or um another area is in commerce uh from africa to china um it's not just gold that's used as money but also bolts of cloth um which i found interesting although it's a concept that's not entirely new to me, um, because some historical stories, like when asking for tribute, they're like, oh, we want gold and we want bolts of cloth. And so I was like, oh, okay, this is interesting. Or in, in China, it's silk. Um, but also the, um, the initial uh, way that banking came about was actually um, had a lot to do with textiles. And um, the joke or not joke, but like the point is that like uh, almost every banker was initially like a textile uh, trader, uh, which I found interesting um, and commerce developed on the back of that. Uh, the entire book is filled with uh, those sorts of things. Um, it's a collection type of thing uh, that illustrates um, the importance of fabric in the history. And uh, I enjoyed it a lot, history book which isn't quite my type of book, so um, relative to the other books that uh, Virginia Postrel has written, um, it, it's not quite in the, the same-ish vein. Um, I still liked it a lot, though. Uh, let's get into the ratings. For utility, I'd give it a three. Um, I don't think knowing this about fabric is useful as much as it is interesting. I have a hard time seeing applications Knowing useful or knowing interesting information is always useful to some degree because you can talk to people about it. Um, also, it can be the case that um, this will help make more make allow you to make more informed decisions regarding fabrics you use in your clothing. 
but by and large, I don't think there's uh, a lot of utility to be squeezed out of this. And if you're reading this, you're reading it because it's interesting and entertaining. For entertainment, I gave it a 7.5. I enjoyed reading it. Um, I probably would have enjoyed it more if I was super interested in fabric or textiles. Um, I, I didn't enjoy it on the back of a previous interest in that, although now I find myself more interested in fabric and textiles, and so maybe I'll read something else on this topic. For interest, I gave it an 8.5. Um, it's interesting how important um, it was for a ton of technological developments. Like, the first machines had to do with um, making uh, the production of textiles more efficient. And so, like, you ask yourself, it's like, if uh, if there if it weren't for these inventions, then like how does um, human civilization move forward? And the answer is like oh, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Um, so fascinating. Uh, novelty. I gave it a four. Uh, I think that the topics in here are not necessarily one you're likely to encounter, so that gives it positive novelty. But I uh, I, I think if you don't read this book, you're not your life won't um, be harmed significantly. You know, um, going without reading this book is not an incredible loss, um, although I enjoyed it. Uh, so I gave an alt of four. Style, I gave it an eight. Uh, I like uh, her writing style. Um, it's very crisp, classical. Um, readability, I gave it an eight. Uh, there are some parts uh, that are difficult, um, or I struggled with a bit, when she's describing how a loom works exactly. I struggled through that a little bit. Um, but other than that, um, as far as ideas that are somewhat complex being relayed in a way that's not complex, I think she does a good job. And so difficulty, I gave it a seven for an overall of 6.57. As far as recommendations go, I think I would be inclined to recommend this to um, friends who I know are interested in history. Like, I have some friends who have been recommending this salt book to me. I'll probably recommend this book to them. Um, and people who are interested in fabric and textiles in general, um, which I suppose I don't know a tremendous amount of people um, who are interested in... Um, I guess anyone interested in fashion and to some extent is interested in textiles. And... Uh, so those are kind of the two categories I would recommend this book to. Um, it's interesting enough that I would probably recommend it generally as well, although I would lean towards stuff that I think has more, stuff that's entertaining but has more utility. Um, so for books that I read this year, something like The Undoing Project, which talks about cognitive biases and tells a story, um, I just... Uh, this stuff's really interesting, but I don't know how useful it is. Um, and that's kind of what my emphasis is on book recommendations and looking at books and uh, how I think of which books to read and that sort of thing, which is why there's almost no nonfiction in the books I read. Or, sorry, almost no fiction. It's all nonfiction. Um, but yeah, I, I'm. if this book sounded even the slightest bit interesting as far as um, some of the things I mentioned then I would recommend giving it a go. Uh, if you like this review, feel free to give a like or subscribe. And then as far as discussions go, um, what is your favorite type of fabric? And do you have any fabric stories? Anyways, have a good one.